In this presentation, I will discuss how to dynamically generate titles and descriptions for pages in our Next.js 15 application. So the best way to demonstrate this is through an example. So here we have a sample online bookstore, and you can see here that we have pages for different genres of books. For example, here we're looking at a page for comedy books. You can see that the URL is slash genre slash comedy, and we have a reference to comedy in our books. Same thing if we we have a page for fantasy books. So the the link has been updated to fantasy, and then all the content here has fantasy. Same thing for romance and science fiction. Now, obviously, all the content here is just placeholders, but you get the idea that we have an online bookstore with pages for each genre. Now, one thing you'll notice is that even though we change the different genre, we can see that the title of the page still remains bookstore, right? So if I click on comedy, it's still bookstore. If I click on fantasy, it's still bookstore. And so ideally, we'd want the title to be changed based on the genre. For example, if we're on comedy books, then we may want the title to be comedy books for sale. Or if it's mystery, then we might want mystery books for sale. So instead of a hard-coded title of bookstore, we'd want the title to be updated dynamically based on the genre. And having a dynamic title will improve the user experience because they can easily understand what they're looking at. And this also benefits you from an SEO perspective because now the crawlers will have a better understanding of what the page content is. Okay, so now let's go to the code and see how we can implement dynamic titles. So as I said before, this is a Next.js 15 application. I'm using the application router and I've set up a dynamic page based on genre. So you can see that by looking at source slash app slash genre and then name in square brackets and then page.js. So this page.js refers to this genre page right here. And you can see here, we're going to get the, the name as a parameter. And then below, we have a markup for rendering the view. This is not very important, but you can see that it's rendering all the content based on the genre. The important thing we want to focus on is this call to generate metadata. So I'm going to uncomment this method. And let's take a look at our application again and see what has changed. So I'm going to refresh, and you can see now the title shows mystery books. If I click on comedy, it gets updated to comedy books. If I go to romance, romance books, and so on. So we can see here that the title is now dynamically getting updated. So we're able to generate these dynamic titles by calling this generate metadata function. So generate metadata is a function provided by Next.js. So we can take a look at the documentation here and I can link it in the description. The whole point of this function is that it allows you to derive dynamic values based on your page and then set those values as the page level metadata. So this, this, page, this documentation page does a pretty good job of explaining everything, but as a high level, you can set met different metadata such as the title, this is the title of the page, you can set the description. And there are also things which are called basic fields, where you can set things like the keywords, the author, creator, and so on. But for this demonstration, we're just going to focus on updating the title, the title of the page, and the description. And the reason why we're doing, or why I'm only focusing on title and description, is because it, it's been known that search engines or search engine crawlers specifically, they tend to prefer looking at the title and description. So if I go back to the code, and this is where I'm calling generate metadata, you can see here that I'm getting the genre name from the parameters, and I perform some decoding operation just to handle special characters. And finally, I'm returning a, an object here. I'm specifying the title and the description. So here you can dynamically set the title and dynamically set the description. So here I'm saying, 
namespace books. So for example, it could be mystery books, and then the description will be the best books for the current year. And so let's confirm that we are able to update the title and description one more time. So I'm going back to our application here. If I go to comedy. So first we can we confirm that the title has been changed to comedy books, but what about the description? So we can go to inspect element, go to the header values, and then here under meta name description, we can see the content is the best comedy books for 2025. And we can do the same thing. Let's say we change it to fantasy. And here you can see that the meta name description has changed to the best fantasy books for 2025. And you can also see that the title has been changed. So all in all, if we want to generate dynamic titles and descriptions, then we need to call this generate metadata function that Next.js provides.